Hey everyone, Andy from wagertalk.com. Welcome to the Road to Millions. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit of a late start today. We are going to go over two Monday Night Football best bets. Got to be honest, they are not strong plays, but uh, I do them every Monday. And it's, I don't know, we're, we're not going to have any official plays on tonight's game. So it's kind of an ugly Monday Night Football game as far as props are concerned, but I'll give you a couple leans. Uh, we'll look at NBA and NHL again. Not a big slate of games. This is not a good Monday for for bets. We'll, we'll go over some things, but um, there's only one play that we have up at wager talk this uh, for today. So very light slate. Um, we did have a request to change the name of the play from sleeper of the day to sneaky play of the day. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Let's let, so instead of the sleeper, it's sneaky play of the day. And then we will have the stat of the day. As well, so we're gonna go over uh, a few of those, and then at the end, gonna go over uh, a couple of changes we're making to the road to millions. Obviously, Steve is not here; um, he'll be here Wednesday. Uh, Corbin is gonna jump on and join me uh, on some shows. I'm gonna hopefully have him on tomorrow because we've got some interesting sports that are coming up in this week. I'll go over those uh, as to what uh, what to expect uh, moving forward this week. But y'all know. We start with some positive vibes, and of course, everyone was congratulating Steve uh, on uh, branching out. So, um, yeah, l- uh, just a lot of lot of good good love for Steve. He deserves it. So um, that was uh, that that was nice to see. Um, I <laughs> David uh, le- left a comment. David. Uh, is not sh- not shy uh, to voice his opinion on these comments. Shorten this show. No one has one hour on Sunday morning. Gotta be honest, David, you got some pushback on that. And I, I gotta tell you, I, I'm I I don't want to change the the Sunday morning shows. I think we go through a lot. Those are the morning of the final prop numbers. We got to go through all the categories. We want to go over the anytime touchdowns. Like we we want to go everything. So. I think it's pretty concise. I, I think we do a lot of information, but I, I watched it back. There's not fluff in there. Um, fluff is, is where, where you get into trouble. But there was a one thing that I want to do more of. Um, so Ray says, favorite portions of scrolling analysis through sports books lines. I'm going to do that a lot more. Um, so like, I'm just going to have up, uh, the DraftKings line. So when we're talking about some of these plays, you guys can see exactly where we're looking at and where they are. So I, 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 I didn't know if people like that, but I like that comment. And so that is something that we're going to add. I'm going to have the, uh, the DraftKings lines up a lot more. So, um, so thanks everybody for joining us. Um, let's get into it before we do that, hit the like button and, uh, leave me a comment. Tell me how good your weekend was. Um, the only play that we have up right now is a UFC best bet. And if I'm putting a UFC play up early, I love it. Uh, that video is posted to the YouTube channel, and um, there are some plays I like. There's some barking dogs for sure. But it's Half Price Monday, so grab it. It's only $7.50. It's normally $15. So this is a $15 play that you can get for $7.50. So take advantage of that now. Normally priced 15 it's half price Monday, so it's seven fifty tonight. That goes back up to fifteen. So take advantage of that now. And Wednesday we're going to have another big wager talk uh, promotion. So uh, get ready for Wednesday. And I'm very excited because um, there's going to be some European uh, soccer qualifiers. Corbin is putting up at least one or two of those plays that are going to be available to everybody. There is a darts play. There's a big darts tournament. There's going to be a darts play that goes up tonight, I believe. And I believe he's going to have another tennis play. So we've got like one play coming from a bunch of different sports. Um, I don't have anything for NBA and NHL tonight, but get the UFC play and get that thing locked in. It is, it's a great play. I just love it. So, all right, let's take a look here at... The sneaky play of the day, and I forgot to change the picture. That's not Connor McDavid. Uh, sneaky play of the day, Connor McDavid under one and a half points. So uh, Connor McDavid under in six straight games since returning from the injury. Looks like he came back too soon because he just doesn't look right. In fact, this guy's three straight games with no points, and they're asking you for him to get over one and a half. Can Connor McDavid do it? Absolutely. But if he's not right. Um, 
the, this streak is going to keep going. So it's a very, very good price. I believe it's like plus 105. So he doesn't look 100% healthy. Three straight games with no points and um, under in six straight. So I know they had some coaching changes, which is why I, it's the only thing that's preventing me from making this official play on Wager Talk, but I do like it. Um, the other thing is the – they're playing the the Islanders tonight who've given up a ton of goals in the last few games, like four more goals. So they're really, really struggling on defense. So it's a sneaky play of the day. I could not get to the window on it and bet it with my own money. But uh, if, 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 if you absolutely have to have something in hockey tonight, that was the one that I liked uh, the best. And then stat of the day, the rebound assist number for Giannis is 16 and a half. He's only gone over one time. Out of nine games this season, that was the last one where he had 17. So he barely got over there. And when you look at his stats, it just it's just not getting there in both categories every night. This is a team that has the second fewest assists per game in the league. It's like 22. The Pacers are over 30. They lead it. So like you're just not getting a lot of assists from this Milwaukee Bucks team. Their their assist numbers to go under have been really good. So. Um, Lillard is probable tonight, so it uh, looks like he's going to be back. But kind of interesting there that Giannis, you know, you would think, oh, man, he's probably flying over this total. Not so much this year. So uh, keep your eye on that one. All right, let's go over some NBA and NHL props, and we will first check in with our fine folks at props.cash. And this is what I was talking about. I've been really enjoying – Looking at these hockey players to not have a point. Now, I will say there was one I liked yesterday. Did not play it, and he did have a point. So it was a good layoff on my part. But we brought up this Connor McDavid um, under one and a half, and, you know, you can just see it here. Plus 105, three games in a row without having a point. One, then none, then one against Calgary. And so the, here's the thing. The Islanders' defense, it says 14th. In goals for the season, that is not indicative of how they are, they are playing right now. Um, not at all. They they have lost, uh, they've lost a few in a row. Kind of by, let me pull it up here. Kind of by, not not really close games. <laughs> so it's a struggling team. That this is the, it's the biggest reason why I can't quite bet it. Yeah. So they lose four to three to Carolina, four to two to Minnesota, five to two to Boston, four to one to a bad Washington. Capitals team on Saturday so they're a team that's in pretty terrible form so I I, I don't know I, I think it's worth a sp I just said I wasn't going to get to the window on it so um, I'm not going to uh, who's on fire Jaden Schwartz is we take a look at him if you believe in playing the streaks this is your guy today uh, it's no William Nylander <laughs> but uh, he has been tearing it up he gets a pretty good matchup against Colorado uh, 19th in goals allowed they do a good job at preventing shots on goal. So kind of one of those where they don't give up a ton of shots, but the goals have been getting through. So Jaden Schwartz, pretty fair price, minus 125. If you believe in these guys uh, that are just putting in you know, point after point, you can go ahead um, and fire away on that. But other than that, look at not too many guys tonight on long streaks. So um, if we want to look at shots on goal, not too much uh, that excites me on this one. Uh, you got some Oilers players here. If we want to take a look at who's not getting over the aforementioned Islanders, um, it's mate, Connor McDavid. Here we go again. I mean, this guy, uh, his, his unders have been great. Unders have been fantastic. So maybe he doesn't get over his shots on goal tonight um, as well. He's struggling. Some other guys that are struggling. You want to make sure you get a fair price um, on – on these, but uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to entertain much value in this. So, um, so those are the NHL props. Again, not too many games. So, I did want to point something out to everybody. So, if you follow our plays, you know we've been using the alt line on assists in NBA, and they've been working very, very well. We're off to a good start in NBA and NHL, especially NHL, 11 and 5. So, I'm going to keep the low volume down. So, if we have an NHL play that is up, you know it's a really good one. So if you're looking for other parlay pieces, I discovered this last year. Take a look at the three-pointers made and look at some of these big guys that just don't shoot the ball. <laughs> and it's a really good parlay piece. So if we look at someone like Evan Mobley, I'm looking for big guys who just don't take three-pointers. 
And he's minus 450, so you would never play that. But if you're looking for a parlay piece, I mean, <laughs> this guy's got over one time this season. Uh, he does not shoot the ball uh, a ton. In fact, I'll, I'll pull it up here. And that's what I love about these bigs is you'll have games where they don't even attempt a three-pointer. So not only on these big guys do you need them to attempt one, you need him to make it, and uh, he is 0 for 1 last game, 0 for 1 game before, 0 for 1 the game before, 0 for 2 before that, 0 for 0. He did make one against Indiana, and 0 for and 0 for. He's made one three-pointer this year, and it was a game he only attempted one. So he's attempting one, maybe one three-pointer every game, and he's not really making them. So... Evan Mobley was one that I might keep an eye on. I, I, I don't know, maybe using it as a parlay piece if I have an alt assist line um, or something like that. And the other one is DeMontis Sabonis. Where are you? This one's pretty good juice, minus 290. And I pull up Sabonis because he hit a couple three-pointers earlier, but he hasn't attempted one in three straight games. And I wonder if that continues tonight. So Mobley and Sabonis are in the same game. And you look at Sabonis, 0 for 0 against OKC. Oh, oh, obviously 0 for against Portland, didn't attempt one, and 0 for against Houston, didn't attempt one. A team's got injuries. You don't know what's going on with the, you know, with the rotations, but he is not attempting three-pointers. So if you're looking for a parlay piece on some of these alt lines that we've been really good on with uh, hockey team totals and these NBA lines, I might go back to that. I remember discovering it towards the end of last year, and I haven't really revisited. So I'm going to paper trade these for a little bit um, and see. I won't I won't get to the window tonight, but I'm going to keep an eye on Mobley and DeMontis Sabonis to not have um, to not have any three-pointers. So if we want to look at rebounds and assists, I mentioned uh, Giannis. And, I mean, I mean, yeah, look, look, you can see it in chart form. He's kind of getting close, but he's just not getting there. And um, – you know, if he gets into foul trouble, it's hard for him to get there. If it's a blowout and they sit players, it's hard for him to get there. And they're bad on defense, so the teams are shooting a higher percentage. So there's not a lot of rebounding opportunities. Again, I mean, it just – yeah, he's just not getting there. So if you're trying to play trends, that's one I would look at. Um, if we want to look at guys who are on hot streaks and are doing well, not a whole lot here. Al Horford's going over. Um, I would not take him tonight against the Knicks just because you got Randall and um, Mitchell Robinson in there. So um, Darius Garland, he's only hitting 60%. So, um, again, just not not a lot of value and not a lot of games tonight. So I can't really find anything points-wise in NBA. So NBA is just going to be a pass. So we'll move on to to uh, bigger and better things tonight. So, um, so guys, hit the like button and tell me if you like anything for tonight. Only play I've got up is uh, UFC play. And uh, I'll just kind of be paper trading and watching that Connor McDavid under one and a half, and I'll watch the Mobley and DeMontis Sabonis and see if that's something that we can take advantage of uh, moving forward. So, um, Okay, so Road to Millions. Uh, we're going to be changing a couple things on Road to Millions. It's perfect timing. We didn't do a show last. Uh, we didn't do a show last Monday, like me and Steve actually, like, got set up to do it, and then we just ended up having a real heart to heart, long, deep conversation, and that's when we really decided that it was time for Steve to branch off on his own. So that's why we did not do a show last Monday. It was that was it. it that was kind of the day where we we had both been talking about it over the weekend, and then we just got into a really heart to heart conversation on Monday. So. Um, so there's going to be a few things we're going to adjust on the road to millions, and um, hopefully you guys uh, will see it over the the, the next couple weeks. And I'm 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 excited because I've been mulling over these things quite a bit. There's been a couple things I wanted to adjust, and now seems like the perfect time. So I want to get back to focusing on overall units every day. Like we 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 and I say like people in the you know betting industry like we talk about well, I'm on this NHL run and I'm on this, you know, MMA run. And those are important because you need to see what, what plays you're looking or what plays you're hot on, which plays you're cold on, which you need to avoid, which needs tweaking. But I feel like I've kind of gotten away from focusing on the basic, which is, which is just overall units. And we need to concentrate a lot more on that. 
Um, keeping it simple, this has been a really important thing that I've made an adjustment for in my life just over the last week. Um, and I think we're, you're going to see – you're going to see the content become a little bit more simple. We're going to get a lot more focused on certain plays rather than talking about a bunch of them, trying to do a lot more of quality versus quantity. And to do that, we're going to keep it simple. Like tonight, absolutely no reason to throw out an NBA or an NHL play. doesn't matter. Like we have no reason to force anything. So I'm not going to overcomplicate things and put in plays that I don't believe in. So, um, the biggest thing we're going to do, I've been thinking about this for like a while and I I just want to do it because I feel a lot better. I want to start my week with the weekends. I'm moving bankroll reset day to Fridays. We end up with more volume on the weekends and because of that, I just don't want that to be the end of the week. I want that to be the start of our week. I don't want to have to hold anything back on the weekends because... You know, Corbin has his soccer plays, which, you know, he's always going to have, a, you know, a couple of them. And he's been good. If you've been playing him the last few weeks, he is back on track and he is firing away. So we have those. We have UFC. Um, there's still golf tournaments. Of course, we have college football and, and NFL. And I don't want to go into the weekend saying, okay, this is the end of the week. What are we going to do? I want to come out of the weekend and know where we stand on that weekend. That way I can plan for the week a lot better. So we're going to be doing bankroll reset days on Fridays. I know that's going to make Friday show complicated, but I've been thinking about it for a long time. It's been in the back of my mind, and I just in mentally making the decision, I feel so much better about it. So um, we're going to start our fiscal week with the weekend. So this Friday, we'll do bankroll reset day. We'll plan the week accordingly. I can tell you guys right now, what to look for? What to look for? Just up until Friday, Tuesday, there is going to be at least an NBA play and probably an NBA and NHL play. Wednesday, I'll have to take a look at it. But there are the European soccer qualifiers that Corbin will absolutely have one, probably two plays. There's a lot of games, a lot of good looks. There's a darts play um, that's coming up. So between now and Friday, we're going to have I don't know, man, six, seven plays. So when we get to Friday, um. We'll, we'll have those plays mapped out. And then on Friday, I will be in a good spot to say this is what you can expect for the weekend because it's the first day of, of our fiscal week. So it's a big change. I think it's going to help me out a ton. I hope it's going to help you guys out a ton. So um, just to recap, we're really going to get back to focusing on the overall units and the overall bankroll every day we want to talk about it. Um, we want to keep it simple. Um, and just we're low volume as it is. I almost want to keep it even lower volume. So and then we're going to start on Friday. That's going to be like the start of our week. I want to get the week started with the weekends. So uh, this Friday we'll start off and we'll um, we'll see how it goes. So thanks, everybody, for joining and uh, appreciate all your uh, all your loyalty and all the positive vibes uh, feeling really good. So nothing too exciting to talk about with the bankroll right now. So, um, hopefully on Friday we'll, we'll reset it and we'll, uh, we'll be up. So I promised two NFL best bets that these are, sp I don't know. I'm not betting these, but keep an eye on it. Maybe for fun. Uh, Javante Williams over 54 and a half rushing. Uh, he's obliterated this total the last couple weeks and, um, Bill's defense is just so banged up. I think this game is close. Javante had 20 carries last week. I think he can get over this uh, total. It seems pretty low in a game that I think is going to be really close with a banged-up Bills defense. And then Russell Wilson, over one-and-a-half touchdown passes, plus 160. This is a Bills team that's given up three to Burrow, two to Baker, Mayfield, two to Mac Jones. And Russell Wilson had three last week, and I think he only completed 12 passes. <laughs> so uh, I'm thinking that Russell Wilson can get the touchdowns. Javante Williams can get the yards. So um, <laughs> we'll we'll try to do that. I'm not betting them. They're not official plays on Wager Talk, but something a little bit interesting. That plus 160 is, is, uh, is just too good for a Bills team that can't seem to stop quarterbacks from throwing touchdown passes on them. So. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us. Make sure you get that UFC best bet. It's a $15 play, but because it's half price Monday, it's $7.50. Go grab it at Andy Lang uh, profile page at wagertalk.com. I'm excited for everything. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we'll have Corbin on. He can uh, get everyone prepped for what's coming with soccer and uh, darts and those. And looking forward to more profits. And then on Friday, 
we'll do our bankroll reset day. So thanks, everybody, for joining on Road to Millions. We'll see everyone tomorrow.